I'm meteorologist Joe DiCarlo. Look at our forecast and we continue to track tropical storm barrel. You see it was disorganized overnight into the morning, but it's really gotten its act together the past few hours. Now uh, more of a center of circulation here and more thunderstorm activity around the center of circulation. So it is beginning its strengthening process and it is expected to strengthen over the next 24 hours, still maintaining its tropical storm strength through the evening hours on your Saturday. But by Sunday, it'll start to increase into a hurricane latest uh, forecast from the National Hurricane Center is it making landfall as a category one storm. However, the more time it spends over water, it can get stronger. It could be a category two upon landfall, maybe even a low end category three. We'll keep our eyes on it, but the National Hurricane Center says it's going to move in as a category one storm on Monday morning. Uh, most likely center of uh, circulation for the landfall is going to be just to the northeast of Corpus Christi, Port Aransas, Rockport, Port Lavaca and Matagorda Bay. That is the most likely landfall for this storm Monday morning and then it will continue to work to the north and eventually weaken. You see the path here keeping most of the activity east of San Antonio. That's where the center of circulation will move through and most of the heavy rain will be to the east. Tropical alerts ahead of barrel. That's a hurricane watch from Corpus Christi up towards Matagorda Bay. Tropical storm warning now down to the south towards South Padre Island. In our area, it is a flood watch for Lavaca, DeWitt and Goliad County. So we are watching our eastern counties for that flood threat with barrel out there on your Saturday afternoon, though we are tracking a few scattered showers and thunderstorms, some locally heavy rain occurring across especially the hill country this afternoon. We'll continue with the rain chance till about sunset. So you may pick up on activity for areas west of San Antonio. This is the best rain chance that we have is going to be later or throughout the day today. As you head towards your Sunday, attention will turn to barrel as it rides up the Texas coastline. Here's landfall likely near Port Aransas, Rockport, the Port Lavaca areas. That's where our computer model is bringing in the storm early Monday morning. Here's 6 a.m. and then it will bring heavy rain through our eastern counties. We're talking about winds gusting to 60 miles an hour, possible flooding rains in our eastern counties. San Antonio, we are right on the edge, so we'll have some of those outer bands scattered showers and thunderstorms with barrel also going to be breezy. But the heavy rain looks to move just off to our east. We'll be watching it. Any shift could change this just a little bit. Here's the latest forecast from the Weather Prediction Center. It's widespread, three to six inch or more totals in our eastern counties along the coast up towards Houston. Much less as you push to the west. Del Rio Eagle Pass not going to be seeing any rain from Barrel. San Antonio, we're right on the edge. So again, a little movement could adjust our totals. Heaviest totals east much less totals to the west. So here's your full seven day forecast. We'll keep a 40% rain chance around San Antonio. It's close to 100% in our eastern counties with barrel on Monday. So keep that in mind. It really depends where you are. 98 on Sunday, 90 on Monday as barrel moves on through and we'll keep an isolated rain chance through midweek.